I consider it to be a victimless crime what I do generally. But the criminal side of it is important. Any piece of graffiti is saying that you're not going to be told what to do necessarily, that you'll go out under your own steam and you'll make the city look the way you want it to look. Graffiti as an art form, I would describe it as dynamic, explosive, unpredictable. Some people say graffiti ruined my life and some people say you know, graffiti saved my life. The adrenaline is pumping the minute you start planning this elaborate crime. All the best movements have come out of poverty, have come out of a struggle, have come out of people being hungry and thirsty for something. Making the street art movement work has largely been Banksy. He's an outsider, he's a maverick. Banksy truly believed that this is an art movement. We set up our own printing presses, we set up our own galleries. He just had this great vision to show people that art could be viewed in a different way. He became this sort of hybrid street artist, social activist, ad hacker, graffiti guy, all into one. As an artist, it's like, what is the goal at the end? If the goal at the end is, I really want to change the world. Like, I want to deal with these bigger, headier concepts, and that's where Banksy changed the game. We had no idea what we were doing. We just made it up. <laughs> and selling for 860,000.